Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the new episodes of American Horror Story. Today um, 7 and 8 came out. And yeah, before I start reacting, I want to tell you that you can find all of my American Horror Story reactions on cut on my Patreon. The link is in the description. And you can also find early access on there. So check that out if you're interested. I also recently added some new tiers. So if you're interested, just check it out. And yeah, the last thing we saw, we had first had the tarot card episode. And then we had the episode where we found out that Patrick and Sam killed someone. Um, that was pretty shocking. Like, they had been hinting that there was something up with Patrick. But I really didn't know what. Because for a while I just thought he was really struggling with himself or something. Um, I knew something was up with Sam. But I didn't expect that they had actually been well, working together. It just... It was an accident but yeah that they were involved in this together and then in the end we saw that um the killer that he took um Dennis O'Hare he drugged him Gino followed them and I think that is actually the last thing we saw so uh, there's four episodes left I gotta say last week's episodes I think they were so much better than the first four um and now we only have four episodes left so I feel like it's gonna be better I'm just curious about the rest so let's just watch this oh Needles in his ears. Is he just talking to the dead bodies? You should have listened better. You're supposed to call the station right back. Trust me when I tell you, Gina, they would not have come. Turn back on. Not how it works, Gina. Okay, I can handle this. Stay here. Dude, you're just gonna go in there alone? I'm gonna be a part of this. Why do they always have to argue about this? I am coming with you, and the longer you sit here and think about it, the more likely it is that Henry's gonna get killed. Yeah. I mean, this is the only thing we've seen them doing up to now. Yeah, after all this? How do you think that's boring? That would be so nice. I don't think they teach you that. Oh, okay. Okay, so that means he knows they're there. Holy mother of God. Oh. oh. You could have been a bit more careful. I know what's happening in front of you is fucking fucked up. But dude, you knew he was gonna be there. Okay. Now they're all there. Great. Yeah, what a rescue. It's going very well. Where why is Patrick not there with them? Oh. I didn't think you were coming back. I'm sorry about the tenderizer. I don't like hearing people scream in pain, but that's not why I do this. <laughs> I wanted to get you alone so we could talk. I'm a fan. I admire you so much. Okay. I already gave him a heart, but it's a heart from someone of no consequence. What? A sentinel, a beacon of hope for the entire community. So I'm going to give him your heart. I hope you realize what an honor this is. Such an honor. This is so far. I don't know. How are they gonna get out of here? The only person I can think of now is Sam because he isn't in there. But I mean, I also don't think Sam would like risk his life for them because it's still Sam. It's I mean, it's better than dying, I guess. Oh. 
I can't believe he wasn't the one I didn't trust in the beginning. Well, actually, I do believe it because he was still in some really shady shit, but he actually had nothing to do with the murders. Don't make too much noise, though. It's... Gotta ruin your other hand as well. What is he? Is he gonna chop off his own hand? No, no, I deserve this. I could have stopped this fucker a long time ago. Is this? No. Yeah, I mean, do it or don't do it. Stop talking. You don't have time for that. I let people die. I mean, he is getting a heart out at the moment, so it might take a while. Okay, at least he's finally showing some regret. This is insane! There must be a way to get that thing off. Can't you just fuck off your other hand as well? I feel like this is so dramatic for no reason. I, I feel like there's really no reason to sew off your own hand. No. <laughs> that was a little far-fetched. I mean, if you were gonna fuck up your hand anyway, you could have done the same with the other one as well. I think it would be painful, but less painful than chopping off your own hand. You're making a beacon of hope for our community. Really love our community, huh? It's all I care about. Yeah. The Sentinel has to come from us. What would you have me use? Streets? Some sacrifices for me? Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Like, it's your community, but you're killing your own community. Couldn't you have killed the streets then? No one cares what happens to us, especially the police. I think I proved my point, don't you? Yeah, I get, I get where he's going at. Yeah, I, think I think if he would be killing straights, it would be more like a revenge thing. And now he really wants to show what is happening in the community. He just doesn't understand how crazy he is and what the fuck he's doing. Blood will flow, the heart will pump, and he'll live again. Hmm. Ready to take his place among the world. So we really just killed someone for nothing then. How did he get Cheeto out of them? Kill him now. I, he's not gonna do it though. He's gonna bring him to the police who are not gonna do anything. And then... Oh, that, that's so generous of you. I have my demons. I faced them that night. You hired me to cut up that boy, Henry. I confess. I enjoyed it. Yeah, we saw that. Oh, he needs to be burned away. I mean, at this the point, just the kill us, us him. Because the police is not gonna do anything lost. anyway. You could always say it was self-defense. Whoa. Oh, fucking hell. That was a little anti-climatic, I think. And there's like three and a half episodes left. What the fuck is going to happen now? Hero gay cop tells all. Okay. Guess that's good. How does it feel to be a gay cop? I think the same as a straight cop. Just that you think the police are assholes because they're not doing anything about people who are gay or being murdered. Department that treats gays like they don't exist or worse. That they shouldn't exist. You know, that is literally what happened. Because I don't need your badge, Detective Reed. Give it to someone who does. Would you hang on a second? Doesn't mean you're getting fired. Okay. Makes you think I'm not quitting. Why don't we start with reopening every single case you swept under the rug because one of the victims was gay? How about that poor teenage boy who was beat half to death in the Bronx? Assholes. You turned up with baseball bats to a private party and smashed the place up. And where are we? Huh? Did we the gay bar fire investigation? I honestly think he Fuck could you. do some good things there. Fuck this whole department. But I get what he's saying. Detective Reed. Nah, it's not huh. I was really like, okay, he might be the only hope of the police doing some good things because he's kind of leading them, but... Yeah, I, I get his decision. I'm still like, there's still three episodes left. What the fuck is going to happen now with the killer? Yeah. We still have Big Daddy, but 
Maybe we're gonna find out a bit more about him now. Is this about the considerable damage to the front? Yeah. Target and intellectual guys for the organs and beautiful man for the physical features. Oh, that's why he only found the body of the pilot in the beginning. So fucked up. That is so messed up. Is that thing just lying there? Yeah, I get that. That's insane. Yeah, they must be somewhere. Now affecting our platelets and T cells. Sully was one of my first patients. <laughs> when I first heard he went missing, I assumed he went home to be with his family because he was sick. And Sully told me that he This doesn't make sense. Sir. And also, it was not um, the guy who found him, that was Big Daddy. It is also so weird to constantly say Big Daddy in a really serious way, but we don't have any other name for him. I honestly forgot about the AIDS part for a bit, because I was so focused on the killer, but yeah, that might be a part they're still gonna yeah, be about the episode. There's another killer out there. There's a leather daddy who's stalking people with blood disorders. I mean, this is crazy. We're trying to get on with our lives, and, and I think that you should too. I can't. He lost his friend. Bring him with you. It's a big house. I think the ocean air will do us all good. They're going there? Wait, are we talking about not the house from Sam, right? Because then Tia wouldn't come. What are we talking about? Some ghost, maybe? So, so I think the beach is going to do us both good. They're just gonna go on a holiday or something. We're not gonna allow this to destroy us. It's destroyed us already, Gina. No, it's my fault. It's Patrick. It's not your fault. It's my fault. It's not. She knows it. I just saw her. You saw who? I saw Barbara. Street just down. Oh, we're not running out of fucking money. Hey, hey, breathe. You're safe. It's okay. Something terrible's gonna happen. Where is the dog? He could have at least adopted the dog. I'm not gonna be able to make it to Fire Island. Okay, they're going well, to Fire I'm Island. Just too goddamn pregnant to handle that fairy ride. Rain check. I think their friendship's so cute. This is not gonna be well. There's this disease going around in the tree that I had. My white blood cell count is really low. But I don't need to get into the details. I'm really scared. Oh, no. If I'd be okay if I came and stayed with you for a little while. Oh, uh, no. Okay, to be fair, I don't have that much of a connection with Billy's character in this season, but not Billy. What was this? It already? No, right? No, okay. That would be really short. I know the episodes are a bit short, but... Pride takes work, but death comes easily. Death is an old friend, someone every gay person has known their whole lives. Something's coming. Something evil on the horizon. Yes, the mind type killer was a sick man. But was there some ounce of virtue in his impulse to build a sentinel to protect the very people he hurt? Homosexuals must be treated like criminals! What if we found value in our trauma? As I made bound to the table of the killer looking death in the eye, I didn't see evil. I saw suffering. Created by the world who gave a man no other choice but to destroy. Imagine if it has our compass. Where would it lead us? What could it do for us? I saw a man who became a monster. Because it's who the world expected him to be. The monster has been implanted in all of us. Yeah, this is he's a good writer. Society's expectations of who and what we should be. This is very well done. This is our way out. This is our pride. The way that they actually got an actor to play the dead body. Okay. Okay, now it's really finished. Such a short episode, that's insane. Yeah. 
I don't know what to think of it. Because the last two were so good and I think this was really anticlimactic. Like first they killed a Mai Tai killer. And I also feel like the audio was a bit bad. Which couldn't really get me into the episode. Because the music was sometimes just really loud and the like the way they were speaking was really like not loud. <laughs> um, especially in that scene. So it, it was just kind of a weird vibe or something. Um, and then they just shot him. Like, okay, I'm happy he's dead because now he can't hurt anyone anymore. And I think that the piece in the end was actually... That was pretty well done. Especially with the flashes and shit. But I don't know. Okay, now of course they want to show us the... Like the real... Not the real... That was also a real threat. But like, um, it's gonna be more about AIDS, I think. And also, we still have to find out who the fuck Big Daddy is. He's now in Billy's apartment, Hannah's apartment. I keep just saying Billy, but Hannah. I'm afraid he's gonna hurt her. But also, I think we're also gonna figure out more about the disease that she has it and stuff like that. Um, so I don't really know what to expect now. But I think those are the two things that it's actually going to be about now. And I think they just want to get wanted to get rid of the Mai Tai killer in this episode to like have three more episodes for that. Because that is like... I think the Mai Tai killer was this obvious thing that was hurting and killing people. And the other two aren't really obvious because they still have to figure that one out. Uh, so I think that's why they killed him now. And I think that was an okay choice. But I just feel like it was so anticlimactic. I don't know. I, yeah. I mean, the part where they try to get out, I think that was like nicely done. Apart from the fact that Dennis O'Hare chopped off his own arm, that is still fucking insane to me. Like, okay, I get it. You might feel some regret towards your community. I mean, he wasn't a very nice man and he didn't really do anything for his community. But to be like, wait a second, I deserve this. To get a saw and then chop off your hand. It seems really far-fetched to me because he literally just got his hand out of that just like that. Couldn't you have done that with the other hand? It just... I don't know. It didn't really make sense to me. Yeah, I guess for now we just have to see what else is going to happen. I'm just going to watch the eighth one now. So yeah, did you like this? Then please leave a like, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the episode. And like I said, you can also follow me on Patreon. And also, um, I started a TikTok yesterday uh, because I thought... That might be a smart thing to do now. And maybe get some small parts on there and stuff. So I thought that would be fun. You can also follow that link. is also in the description. And then that was my reaction. Bye.